Wasn't that glorious? Paul Savino weeping there. One of those marvellous, sentimental Hollywood moments. Sorry for Kate Winslet, though. Anyway, the two big surprises among the nominations for Best Film this year are Il Postino, which I'll be talking about in a minute, and Babe. Babe? I mean, a film about a piglet that wants to be a sheepdog? Come on, give us a break. But it's won seven nominations and deserves them all, because it's a remarkable mixture of live action and clever animatronics, many of the effects having been created at the Jim Henson Studio in London. Here's how the movie came about. Disturb you, but it's nearly dawn, and I wondered if you'd mind crowing just a few minutes early this morning. Get out of here. Uh, but, well, see, I just... Get lost. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 I was flying to London, and in the middle of the night, I turned on the audio and was listening to a children's program in which a woman was reviewing children's books. And she started to review this book about a pig that became world champion sheepdog. And she started to laugh during the review, and she laughed in such a way I thought this must be very special. Now, Pig, regarding the company you keep. Being young, it's hard to discriminate, so I'll make it easy for you. I forbid you to talk to or consort with that duck. Never have I made myself clear. Uh, what's consort? For the film, we trained on. 970 animals and we'll say in the case of babe there was 48 piglets that played a part of babe there was several female dogs and several male dogs playing the part of rex and fly there was more than 24 ducks in training to play the part of ferdy so all the animals had different uh doubles and for the puppies we had something like 24 puppies to play the part of six puppies no need for all this wolf nonsense, young'un. All a nice little pig like you need do is ask. Thanks very much. It was very kind. A pleasure. What a nice little pig. Right, well, so much, so much for Babe for the moment. Well, we, we, we shunted Tracy Ullman out of this chair here and replaced her with Ian McKellen, whose film, Richard III, had two nominations, did it not? Yeah. Not successful, alas. Well, successful with the critics and with the audiences. No, no, and, I mean and, the nominations. Oh, I see. No, no, the, no, are we talking no, about the Oscars? Oh, I didn't know why we were here. Yeah, we're talking about the Oscars. And talking about the Oscars. What do you make of the show? Well, it's a, it's a theatre show, isn't it? That's the odd thing, that, that here we are celebrating uh, cinema, uh, and on TV we're watching a theatre show, and, and the hit so far is Stomp, you know, nothing to do with movies at all. It's, it's uh, quite and uh, I, I think it's quite intriguing to watch those uh, presenters and, and, and uh, nominees who win, who are at ease with being in public. Uh, the film stars lean forward, you know, just to talking to the microphone to make sure they really can be heard, whereas the actors like Pierce Brosnan, who strode magnificently across the stage, yes, did you notice that? And Jeremy Irons, they knew where they were because they liked yeah. the theatre. Yeah. It's, uh, the rest of them are very nervous. I think that explains why this show is so popular, that you, yeah. it's a bit of theatre. It did. Maybe, maybe they ought to do it in a film studio next oh, that'd time. that would be better still, yes. Anyway, back to the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion.